Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake. All right, everybody, so we are back on the story mode server on the island. Um, I'm back with uh, another quick uh, episode to show you another one of my personal favorite mods that we use, uh, or a couple of the mods that we use on the story mode server. Um, this one is definitely for all of you builders out there, um, anyone who likes to build and design and decorate and all of those things, um, this is definitely uh, the mods for you. Um, so basically today we're going to go over some of the Ecos Decor mods that I have on here and um, one of the newer ones which is Akka's Interior Decor um, which I'm personally really enjoying. Um, it is my first time using it. Um, I believe it is relatively new um, but so far I like it. So without further ado. Um, so we've got a few different, I will uh, go over the Akka's one first because I, I, it's just one. Um, so this is the interior decker crafting table. Uh, it is made on yourself right here, uh, not with too many resources. Uh, metal ingots, hide, stone, and wood that will get you this decker crafting table. Um, some of the things I love about this one is there's a lot more uh, modern looking type things. So um, I'll show you the different things that this um, has to offer you. And then I will take you for a quick show around my base uh, and show you some of the things that I personally used uh, to decorate from this table. Um, so you've got your decor here, which would include um, your floor decor, table props, table wa wa wear, sorry, and your wall decor. So with the floor, um, they have just some plain rugs. Uh, they are paintable. Um, I personally haven't used them. Uh, my opinion, I like the ones that Ecos has to offer. Uh, they already have a design, um, so little less effort needed from me um, but these are nice because you can paint them any color you want so whatever color scheme you're going with you could paint it to go with it so it's nice it's a little more um, versatile as far as decorating goes um, so these are definitely some of the rugs I don't use much in this particular tab um, these are room dividers which are kind of nice so there's three different uh, types uh, that they have of uh, decor on here, which is your gothic, they have your modern, um, and they have your rustic room uh, divider. So those are the three different types of different decors that you can do. Table props are nice. So these are nice uh, for my... Um, coffee table, uh, for my dining room table, uh, things like this. So different, uh, you can also use it uh, in, on shelves uh, to decorate that you can build. Um, so the bookshelf um, is one that I personally use. So you can build the shelf and then these books all go on that shelf. Um, so there's lots of different uh, decor things. You've got a book that can be laid on a table, a book that stands up, um, a floor pile of books. Um, just book stacks, uh, a drink bottle, you've got food decorations, uh, different vases, um, which are very uh, nice. Uh, you've got seashells to decorate a table with. I like these little feather pens. They're kind of neat. You've got pictures, um, bowls, like there's just an endless supply of things that you can literally decorate um, just your table with. Now the tableware is nice. So for your dining room table, they have full table settings um, or they have just individual pieces uh, that you could craft and you can put them right on your dining room table. Um, so again, I'll show you some of the things that I've already built uh, when we go downstairs and take a look. Um, so this is the wall decor. So you've got all these different picture frames and things that you can um, put on your wall. Uh, I did notice that these can be powered um, so they do seem to light up um, which were kind of neat that was uh, these ones here um, do require electricity a lot of the um, powered items within the Akka's decor do require um, a generator and some sort of power uh, running to them in order to work um, so 
that's uh, although they have a lot to offer. I don't. I would like. I like that Eco's like table or not tables, but lights, um, things like that. They they don't really require power in order to use, so they're just a little bit more convenient. Um, but that's pretty much it for just the decor portion of this. Now this does have furniture, so you can. You have three different types of beds: the Gothic bed, you've got your modern beds, and you've got your rustic. Um, so there's three different types there, um, different types of chairs that you can build. So there's benches, um, chairs, couches, um, stools, uh, benches, all like lovely modern couch, all of these things, really nice uh, for decorating purposes. Um, shelves, so as I mentioned when we were looking at some of those um, table decor, um, so we have like the different bookshelves that those uh books actually go into and things like that um, little wall shelves so you could place some of those items directly up on there you saw the vertical books you could place up there um, just different things that you can just decorate and put on your walls um, tables so this would include like your different coffee tables end tables um, little bedroom like hallway dressers uh, things like that uh, dining room tables all of those types of tables are all within here lots of variety to choose from I really love uh, decorating with a lot of these different things I think they're just really 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 neat um, so also of course like any of the decor mods they have the lightings which are nice um, I love the different options that they choose from um, again, they do require electricity, so it requires electricity to activate. Um, they are beautiful lightings. Um, I noticed things have to be relatively close to your generator in order for it to reach. Um, I can show you um, just some of the lamps and things that I have used. Um, so here, um, some of the things in this mod do require plastic in order to build. Um, this machine, the plastic refining machine, you will need to build um, in order to make said plastic to make some of these items. So we've also got different types of storages. So I've used some of these um, little ones here. Uh, they don't hold a whole bunch. Um, they were just nice decorating um, in my bedroom to use. Um, some of the neat things that I like within here that um, are definitely for all of you organized ARC players, um, these storage boxes. So there's the crystal storage, you've got your die storages, electronic storages, um, equipment storages, you've got fiber, hide, metal, these are your oil fuel storages, paste, um, so that would be cementing paste, acatina paste, holds chitin, that kind of thing, stone um, storage, thatch, wood. These are all um, dedicated storage boxes. Um, so very nice to kind of keep things organized. It's kind of easy to hit the transfer all button um, and throw in everything you have in your inventory that would go in that box, um, which would be only the wood or only the hide, um, things like that. So I enjoy that even with um, the blueprint um, shelf that you can make um, just a regular bookshelf um, because it's easy for me when I start getting filled up with all those blueprints to hit a simple transfer all into that bin and it's only going to take what it takes so I don't have to worry about transferring everything else in there so I do really like these um, so definitely good for people who are uh, organized um, and want to try to stay as organized as possible instead of always throwing everything all you have in one chest and then can't find it later um, so this is this is definitely a, a very good uh, organizational uh, decker mod or decker uh, that you can build on here for sure um, so, and then you've just got your structures, which was just a, a large refining forge. So, uh, this will put, uh, take your metal and turn that into, uh, ingots and things like that, which is definitely convenient. Um, you can get this obviously before you, uh, are at a level to make the gigantic industrial refiner, um, takes a lot less resources to make, does the same thing. So that's also very cool. So. I'm going to show you some of the Akka's decor mods that I'm using. Um, this right here is the plastic baker that I showed you in there. This makes our plastic um, if we need to. 
So that's uh, what we'll use to make some of the some of the items. So you put oil, gasoline, and charcoal in this to refine plastic. All right, so here's all our handy dandy storage boxes that I showed you. So this one is stone. Um, so as you can see, it's only going to take stone, flint, and obsidian in this. So that's nice. If I have any of those here, I hit transfer all. They will all go in there and everything's all in one spot, which is nice. Another thing that I find um, very handy is this um, to pull all my resources um, or pull a specific one. It's only going to list the, um, the items that this box holds. So and they all will do that so that's your stone you've got your wood uh, you've got your thatch your metal this will hold your metal um, ingots and I believe it also will hold your um, on you know your raw metal source as well so this is gonna hold all my hide we've got the crystal um, this one is your paste storage. So again, that's going to take your cementing paste, acatina paste. It will also hold your chitin um, and keratin as well. Transfer all simply just takes only those resources that I have on me uh, so I can quickly load out and stay organized uh, when in a hurry. Um, and then this is just going to be fiber. It will also hold silk. Um, so that is also a thing. Uh, so. Now, that is pretty much the storage boxes. There's two more boxes that I showed you uh, that I'll show you where I have them. So in here in my generator room, I have my oil fuel storage. So this holds my gasoline and my oil all in one spot. And then over here uh, in my tech firm, I placed the electronic storage box um, because I obviously will get a lot of uh, electronics and things um, from harvesting all these tech parasaurs so there it is there and I'm thirsty all right so that's just the storage um, now I'll show you the decker items uh, from the Akka's decker mod um, table there that I have used so far all right, so you can see I made a little dining room table. I have the stools, and I used one of the, like, complete pl placements, um, which was pretty neat. So that was pretty easy. Um, I got these counters to make, like, a kitchen area, also from the Akka's Decor with the microwave, you know, the knives. I've got a nice little... Um, kitchen vase, a bowl, my loaf of bread. I've got a stove that this uh, is all functional. Um, this will all cook meat. Same with the microwave as long as things are powered. So I can turn that on and off and I can throw some meat in there. And it will cook my meat. These are the modern fridges also from that, so they also require power. They aren't the same way as the regular old fridges that ARC has to offer. Um, just a little more modern. It looks a little different. Um, so that's kind of the, just the kitchen area that I designed with the uh, Akka's uh, Decker mod. Uh, living room area was also uh, fully done with Akka's um, minus the lamps. So the lamps are definitely ecos because they don't require power um, and I wasn't getting reach at that time for those. Um, so that's the the couch. I use the uh, seashells on my table. I laid down a book. I've got this beautiful purple rug um, that is part of the ecos decor. Um, I have my wall decoration there. See and that is powered. I can turn it off and on as you can see uh, so that's very cool I've got my bookshelf um, I put a pile of books on the floor there um, so that kind of uh, is just a little living space that I made um, again mostly with the with the Atkins decor I showed you in there um, bedroom same deal um, the bed as you can see one light reaches the power uh, the other one does not um, so that is all the Akas I've got the end tables I have that chest I showed you um, just all these different uh, little decker things that were available 
So that was uh, pretty much it for the Akka's Decor mod. Um, you all could take a look. It has a lot to offer. Um, these are just some of the items that I use. Um, but we will definitely, we're going to move on to um, the Eco's Decor mod. Um, so this is the food tray. Um, this is where I get these items from. So this is probably by far my favorite Um Decker, and I'm not sure how much of it anybody knows, um, but this has made my life so much easier, and I'm going to show you all why. Um, so this is um, a cooker, um, and all of these parts kind of attach. You've got a sink with water and all of those things. So I'm going to show you guys how to place these down, um, and then we'll take a quick look um, inside the one that I have in here, and I'll show you exactly how it works. So I can just come over here, uh, we'll just place it here. So first things first, um, one of my favorite parts about this is the sink. So it does not require um, any placement to a water pipe in order to place it. You're going to first place down this bucket like that. And the nice thing is it kind of outlines exactly where the sink's going to be. Um, and then that snaps directly onto it. And I have running water. So I can drink. I can fill up my water jars. Works the same way as a tamp tap that connects to the water, except for I don't have to have those pesky pipes sitting around. So that is definitely um, convenient. Um, and I love it. I pass out from not drinking water all the time still. So. Um, but this is, is definitely great. So. Um, in addition to that, I generally will just snap this cooker directly next to it. This cooker will take wood um, or flint um, to cook meat, um, and it cooks it pretty fast, so much faster than the campfire um, and in, in larger amounts at a time. Um, so it's definitely efficient. Um, and, of course, I use all wood. Um, it's going to give me my charcoal as well while it's cooking all my meat in bulk. Um, so it's definitely a faster and more efficient way, um, in my opinion, uh, to cook meat. So in addition, we've got this cooking pot that connects on it. So this acts the same way that your cooking pot would that you build in just your regular vanilla arc. Um, only difference with this one is... It's going to give me all of the items I can make in it, all of the recipes. I can click on it. I can pull the resources, and it's going to pull everything that I would need to make that kind of kibble. The other beneficial thing, it requires one jar of water to be put in there for making any of these items because they all require water, but it's not going to use the water. So I can make a thousand kibbles um, with one water jar and it's not going to drain my water not once um, so again this is handy I don't have to look up any recipes I don't have to run through my base and find everything I can pull whatever resources I need and that's part of the SS plus mod um, to the pull resources but because it gives us these little blueprints with the recipes on it life is so much easier um, so it, and it and it's fast. Um, it doesn't cook just one item at a time. It is basically equivalent to the industrial cooker, um, but of course you can cook it well before the industrial cooker. Um, so again, your veggie cakes are there, uh, the, all the crafted foods, and that's all part of the cooking pot. Um, anybody else who likes to dye their clothes or paint their dinosaurs there is the dye mixing bowl that attaches snaps right on to the counter there um, and same deal so it gives me all the recipes um, I don't have to look any of them up it will make lots of different ones at the same time I can make them in bulk really fast and I can pull my resources um, so it is definitely a fast efficient way um, for making dyes for any painters or people who like to color their clothes um, decorating their bases with colors and things like that um, so it is definitely a pretty awesome Thing. So that's pretty much what I use of it. Um, there are two other parts that do go with it that I will show you real quick. So that snaps directly on there. And that's a recipe station. So you can make little foods and stuff. You can eat them. Um, not 
anything more to it than that. Um, they just look a little prettier. They still feed you the same way uh, meat or anything else would. Um, so they're just kind of different. Now these medicinal teas um, are also um, kind of neat. So you can make different teas, calms the stomach, um, provides some heartburn release. Um, when you do drink these, it does give you like a countdown. So I do believe these do give you some added effects of, of some sort. Um, so they're just kind of neat. Uh, and that's pretty much that portion of it. Now you will use this mixing bowl to craft some of the ingredients to make some of these food. Um, and I generally will... I can't see it, but I generally would pop that right on there too. And again, this is going to cook uh, or make some of the, the things that we need in there. So the sugar and strawberries, uh, items like that. Uh, I don't really use that portion of it very much. The rest of it I find extremely useful um, of those uh, things that I went over. The whole thing is just really cool. I think it's pretty fancy. Um, the whole setup is nice. Um, so yeah that's pretty much it for that portion of the ecos that i personally like to to use that i really wanted to brag about and definitely get out there in case anybody is unaware of how awesome that thing is um as far as the ecos go so we have that one that you just saw that's part of the ecos food tray um as far part of the rp decor uh, ecos on this server i also have the eco stable structures and decor um, this also provides um, some things like signs that you can use to decorate your base, um, outside lights, uh, they don't require power, again that's egos, do not require power to power up these lights. Um, so I can definitely, you know, put these on my base, just like that. And now I've got these, they're automatically lit up. I can add more, a little sign above my door here. I can put writing on it. So we will say we are unit 3B. All right, and then you can see it. And this other sign that I use, I just hadn't built it yet, is this one. Uh, it is a pretty big sign. It does have a light on it. And this one I can also write on it. There we go. So those are just a few of them, but you can go through this. Um, so that was just the Decker. Um, I like this little painted storage barrel just simply because of how it looks. It stores a couple of items. Um, so it's just kind of a nice Decker type uh, look for something. This mod um, does have beds and stuff. I don't use those ones specifically, um, but this, this um, mod does have a lot of different things if you're interested in building a stable for your equuses or some of your dinos. Um, it definitely has all the materials that you would need. Um, it also comes, like I showed you, with the lights. You've got the saddles um, for some of your dinos out here, which can be made. Um, they don't give any sort of extra buff or anything. I think they're just a different look. Um, We've got the structures, so this is going to build, um, you will use all of these pieces to build um, your uh, stable um, kind of type design if you are interested. So there's gates, um, lots of different ways to create kind of like a barn stable like um, build. Um, and then there's trophies that you can make to just have up on on your stable which are kind of nice so you've got your first second and third prizes you've got your wall shelves and the ribbons and things like that um so that one's a kind of it's kind of a smaller mod um but it 
kind of just gives a couple of things that I personally like to use that I keep on here. I haven't personally gotten a chance to build any sort of stable, um, but I would love somebody on the server that's playing with us to definitely give it a try. I'd like to see uh, how that definitely turns out. Um, the last one here is our Eco's Garden Decor. Um, this one here uh, is for the garden. So it comes with a lot of really neat things. Um, so different uh, bonsai trees that you can lay down, um, a little snail garden structure, uh, different ways to really um, bring out your garden, um, which is kind of neat. All these little white picket fences. Um, we've got fountains, which are really cool. Um, I could make one probably. And I will lay one down out there and I'll show you by the garden. Um, lights as well. So these are nice to kind of put outside your garden um, and they give out quite a bit of light. Um, also, they don't require any power. So you can have these all over um, outside um, to completely light up your area, which is great. Um, different planters and pots. So you can plant different uh, crops and things in these and it just gives a different look than the standard plain old vanilla arc gardens um, there's different structures in here so there's this uh, little mushroom and I have no stone so I'll grab some real quick um, and this pergola which I built down there um, and I can show you guys that um, it also provides a stained glass it will give the same greenhouse effect um, that you know, your regular greenhouse uh, walls will do. Um, and I can make a few of those because I was going to do it with my garden anyways. Um, so I'll show you that exactly here. I don't know how many of these I can make, but I can show you real quick how some of that works. I'm just going to hit a stone so I can make that mushroom and just show you guys what it all looks like now these can be used in many different ways you can decorate them on the inside uh, make them however you really want um, it just really adds something extra to kind of to the outside of your build so while we're all focused on these fantastic base builds um, and decorating our bedrooms and all those things um, we uh, don't generally have time for the garden portion so it definitely uh, gives us something different to work with and I like and now I can't get in that side because I put that sign there all right so let's see put those in there All right, so I can take those. Am I gonna be encumbered? Nope. Okay. So we can lay this down really quick. Just to give you an idea of what this little mushroom thing looks like. I think it's really neat. So there it is. Uh, and it gives you increased insulation when inside, so it works kind of the same way as a tent. I suppose you could use it in the desert if you wanted to. That's uh, a little fancier. Um, you can build and place some items down in here and decorate the inside however you want, but as soon as you pick that up, all your items are gone. Um, so this is the other um, structure that it gives you to build. I haven't decorated the inside of it yet, um, but this is just what it looks like. So you can lay down a couch, you can lay down some tables, some chairs, uh, however you want to do it, add some lights, whatever you feel would be the best way to decorate that you could, or you can not put anything in it at all because it's pretty nice the way that it comes with its own little lighting and decoration and things. Um, so the stained glass, um, I just lay it around my garden and it just, as you can see, gives a different look to the garden rather than just the regular greenhouse walls. 
And that's pretty much how that will go. Now, the other thing I did not show you guys with Ecos, I did decorate a whole bathroom, so uh, part of the Ecos um, Decker mod, um, it does come with, um, as well as the rugs that we saw there, um, different bathroom items, which Akka's Decor does not currently come with. Um, so this is the furniture and decor table. So we've got the bathroom decor, uh, lots of different decorative things, all the lights are in here, um, those types of things, furniture, so you'll get the same type of things, chairs, couches, all of that. I personally just like the more modern look of the Akka's one um, when I was kind of decorating for myself, um, but the bathroom is, is pretty neat. So I will go show you quickly um, before we end this mod review, um, the bathroom that I created using some of the items in there. So it does have the toilet and the bathtub and things like that that you can build. Um, I made it, put a rug in here. So I can literally get right in my tub. This is a little hose on the wall was part of the um, a shower portion of it. I just stuck it to where I was putting my tub. Um, and when you come out, you just go flying across the room like that. Uh, you can sit on the toilet. So it's all uh, pretty cool. You can decorate your base and really make it um, as homely, as homey as you want, um, which is nice. Um, so that pretty much ends it for this episode. Um, you guys pretty much saw everything that I use with these awesome Decker mods. Um, so basically that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to comment um, below on any of the mods um, that I've gone over. Um, and I would be happy to answer any questions that you have. So thanks for listening and that'll be all. I'll see you in the next episode.